Kart Rider Drift has been out for about two weeks now, and whether or not you were aware might have less to do with your love of kart racers and more to do with what hemisphere you were born in. Because despite the fact that I haven't seen a ton of media coverage on this one, it's actually part of this long-standing billion dollar franchise. Drift is the latest in a series of free-to-play kart racers put out by Korean publisher Nexon. And if their 2021 investor presentation is to be believed, a shocking amount of the Earth's population has played this video game series, and an even more shocking amount of Korea's population. The original Crazy Racing Kart Rider was released back in 2004 and it was a smash hit, prompting releases into other nearby territories like China and Taiwan. But after almost two decades of success and millions of players, it's being shut down later this quarter. With the kind of numbers it was putting up even to this day, it's unlikely that it wasn't profitable enough to keep the servers up and more likely that its continued existence would threaten the growth of their new title, potentially causing a repeat of the MapleStory 2 situation where the original ends up outlasting its supposed successor. So was Kart Rider Drift being born from the ashes of its predecessor worth that sacrifice? Given the fact that I'm in the States, I can't answer that question. The lens from which I view Kart Rider is one of a series newcomer, but this game has merit in ways that I wasn't anticipating. Because within a few hours, and certainly after playing its extended tutorial, it becomes clear that Kart Rider Drift is less interested in competing with conventional kart racers than you'd think. The cheerful and inviting chibi racer aesthetic and comfy music are actually betraying the tough as nails mechanical underpinning that make Kart Rider not only a fun game, but kind of an intense skill. Okay, so if you're considering playing Kart Rider, there are a few things I recommend that you do. First, you want to click on this license button tucked away in the corner. Its lack of prominence on the screen is inversely correlated to its massive importance. It's not only your one-on-one -on -one lesson in how to play the game, but also a requirement to add the more advanced tracks to your level pool. Second, you'll want to go to the audio settings and disable your mic. For some reason, it's on by default and the folks in your lobby can hear you. And lastly, while you're in there, you'll want to turn off all the driving and drifting assistance tools. I'm not being gatekeepy here, it's just the reality that if you're looking for something explicitly casual, you're going to be better served by almost any other kart racer. But with full manual control, Kart Rider Drift goes from a competent but unremarkable free-to-play Mario Kart into this competitive input-focused racer. It mainly comes down to drifting and drifting's relationship with boosts. For starters, your drift is way tighter than you expect. My first couple races had me making full 180 degree turns until I learned to overcompensate with a lot of counter steering. But more importantly is the fact that the end of a drift isn't rewarded with a purple sparks boost, at least not automatically. Instead, drifting accumulates meter towards a boost you're allowed to use whenever you want, giving you autonomy over when you want your jolt of speed and also potentially giving you access to shortcuts that need that speed. There is a boost right at the end of your drift too, but it takes an extra input to pull off. Right as you end your drift, you can release then re-trigger the gas, and you'll get this little micro boost. It takes a little bit of getting used to, there's almost a really minor fighting game influence to how you onboard, where you want to build up some reps in a training mode to get the rhythm of your inputs down. But once you hone that muscle, it's really rewarding to pull off. Couple that with a risk reward to your drift where you gain extra boost meter when you drift really fast but lose meter when you collide. The totality of these systems result in a game with a ton under the hood, and every bend is a boost opportunity and every straightaway is a potential to eke out some more points towards your meter. It's worth noting that the above boost meter mechanics are largely the focus of the game's speed mode, which is the itemless variant of Kart Rider's queuing options and my preferred method of play. There is a more traditional kart racing item mode with the same sorts of kart staples you'd expect like bananas and lightning strikes, but the fact that they come at the cost of on-demand boosts was a price too steep for me. Item mode is a totally serviceable way to play the game if that's what you're looking for. It's just one that I think loses more strategy than it gains, and perhaps more crucially, fails to differentiate itself from other kart racers in any meaningful way. What's shared regardless of what mode you pick are the courses you race on. There's a healthy selection of 30 maps, but a disappointing lack of visual variety between them, largely because they're split up into a selection of about half a dozen biomes where most of the assets within a biome are shared. It's a good thing though that these assets look really good. 
Kart Rider Drift is a beautiful game with a slick style and a slicker interface. But I think where the presentation really steps it up is in its soundtrack, a collection of new songs and remixes of tunes from the original. The vibe is comfortable, and they've made up the background music of my day job for the past week, eliciting a sense of nostalgia for a predecessor that I've never played. But of course this is a live service game, and one of its key pillars will be how well it's serving. At the time of writing the biggest omission is a ranked mode, which is almost certainly coming based on the game's competitive history and some developer screenshots, wherein what the developers are considering to be the preseason period. From a monetization perspective, the game offsets its free-to-play nature with a premium battle pass and item shop for cosmetics. Nothing that will surprise you if you've played a multiplayer game in the past half decade. The good news is that there's no pay to win or even any grinding. Everyone's on the same racing field from the get-go, with different carts and characters solely being visual distinctions. At least for now. This is what I hate about reviewing live service games. Try to put pen to paper on them and they could change the next day. A review can only be a snapshot of a game at a particular point in time. And at this point in time, Kart Rider Drift is pretty awesome. Despite being in its content infancy in terms of maps and modes, it makes up for it with its mechanics-focused underpinning that give it a ton of depth, its high bar for presentation, and technical prowess that has left me with stable races and no disconnects during the week I spent with it. But with a live service game, we've handed the developer the keys, and who knows how they'll drive from here. They can make whatever changes they want, up to and including shutting the game down. My usual pessimism for this sort of stuff is being amplified by a Q&A they posted before the weekend that suggests that they may be adding a cart upgrading system at the start of Season 1, which would, in theory, require you to grind for the non-premium currency to stay competitive or, of course, purchase Battle Pass tiers to accelerate that acquisition. Without knowing the extent of the upgrades, how long they will take to acquire, and whether or not they'll even go through with this decision despite obvious incoming pushback, it's not something I can really evaluate for this review. One thing's for sure, it's that in its current state, Kart Rider Drift is a game that I absolutely enjoy and can just as easily recommend. It's an enthusiastic thumbs up, but if the developers change the direction of the game for the worse, they'll be changing the direction of my thumb along with it.